All right, there we go. We are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have a second video for you all today. Hopefully, you'll have the opportunity to see the first one I did, but I just got some of my uh, PGX comics back. Federal Express said the other day it wasn't going to arrive for another two days, but it arrived today, so I'm very happy about that. And instead of sitting here for 24 hours with the box I'm dying to open just to make a video a day later, I said, you know what, let's have some fun. I'm going to open these bo this box up. There's four comics in here, and we're going to see what the grades are. Now, if you've never seen my channel before, I have a deal with PGX, and no, I do not get paid. I do not have any contracts that are signed. Um, I made a deal with PGX. I tried to do it with CGC and CBCS, but they never responded, where I contacted them and said, you know, if I do a little ad on my uh, channel, which has a... Um, link in the description and also a discount code uh, if I do a little advertisement for you guys can I send in some books and PGX was the only one that allowed me to do that I send in four books every month I've been doing it almost three years now uh, once in a blue moon you'll get a comic that people will be not sure about grade wise but 99% of the books have been pretty spot on with the grades but like any grading company it's subject to you know humans making the determination so it doesn't matter what company you use there is always going to be discrepancies i always say you go with what you like go with what you can afford and what the reason is behind getting graded comp you know grading companies to grade your comics i have a video on my playlists that talk that shows all three comic book major companies and their benefits and you know their pluses and minuses so hopefully you'll check that out now these books I don't know what the grades are I purposely never look or never ask for the grades because I want it to be a live reaction video where I do the unboxing and I show you the books and we learn together what the grades are but if you use the code we love comics free press if you choose to use PGX which like I said of course you're, you're obligated to use whatever whoever you want um, but if you use PGX and use the code We Love Comics Free Press, you can get if you send in ten books or more, you get one that can be pressed absolutely free. So the link and in this in the description. Also, don't forget the cashback bonus program. It is free to do. I have posted the link in the description. It's also in the live chat, um, and it's also in the comments section. If you click on that link and sign up, it's free to do, uh, and you spend thirty dollars or more within the first ninety days of signing up and you qualify, make sure you check all of the restrictions, and you spend $30 or more within the first 90 days, you get a $30 bonus. Um, normally it's $10. So this is good until the end of the year. So if you haven't signed up, please share that link because I do get a one-time referral fee if you click on the link, sign up, and spend the $30 or more. If you just sign up, you get nothing and I get nothing, and how does that benefit any of us? So even if you're not subscribed, come join the live chat because I always do at the end of every video, I do a surprise subscriber shout out. That means if you are in the live chat and you are in the conversation, I will pick one of the names at random. And one of the benefits is if you are the surprise subscriber shout out, I allow that person, if they have a YouTube channel, to post the link to their channel. I will verify to make sure it's something that's appropriate. And if you all see a link from the surprise subscriber shout out, then I always recommend, please go c click on the link, go give them a try, and maybe they'll get a subscriber, a subscriber or two, and it helps the community. So three people have already liked this already, and thank you for those. It's, I know there's not a lot of people that do that, but the ones that do, I appreciate. So let me put on the video camera, and you'll notice I'm in a different section of my house. I just didn't feel like being in my computer room. I'm in my bedroom right now, and I just thought I would do something different, a little different scenery. Here's my We Love Comics t-shirt from when I was uh, doing the flea market, which no longer exists thanks to this situation in the world. But what are you going to do? I still have the shirts. I love them. And no, I'm not selling them. All right, so as usual, PGX, there's only four comics in here. And as usual, they do a great job with protecting them. Now, they send them FedEx. Now, if you notice when you buy them, when you get many things from UPS or the, especially the post office, um, if they're not damaged, you'd be shocked. FedEx seems to be pretty decent with this. But you notice PGX will ship your comics in an oversized box to make sure there's plenty of room for error. They will put plenty of protection around it, which I will show you. So they put plenty of bubble wrap 
put it towards the camera. Plenty of foam. They put this around it. They put newspaper and packaging at the bottom. So they make sure your books are protected. So not only do they have that, they wrap it in bubble wrap. And then the, again, they wrap the, the comics in blue cellophane so they're not bouncing around. Because that's the thing about plastic cases. If it bounces around, that's going to increase the chances of them getting damaged. So they do an amazing job with packaging. I have never once in the three years of doing this, I have never once had a cracked case. So as you could see, they put this blue cellophane so they are all connected. I wish more companies would do that. Now another thing, and this is what I, another thing I love about this company. They actually listen to people's feedback. And I, I talked to Daniel Patterson. I haven't talked to him in a while, and I'm sure with the life with this situation in the world, I can understand why. But I am the one that told them that if you want graders notes, you can have the option of putting graders notes on the back of the slabs, which they did on these comics, and I will show them. So if you use the code we love comics graders notes, it's five dollars per slab, but they will put the graders notes on the back of the book. Right, well, not on the back of the book, but on the back of the slab. So this way, it actually makes them a little bit more responsible for, you know, grading properly because you see it right there. Now, obviously, if you don't want to pay the $5 for free, they will email you the graders notes, so you don't have to do it. But I kind of like the graders notes being on the back of the slabs. And I actually mentioned that to Daniel Patterson, and he, he listened and allowed that option to happen. So I like companies that are willing to listen to customer feedback. So again, you can think of anything you want about a company, that's up to you. I always say, base it on your own research and your own information, not what everybody else says. Because sometimes people have just a personal vendetta and that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to affect you. So if you base everything in your life on what other people do, you're not really being yourself. So make your own judgments and that's why I do this live. I don't edit my videos, I don't try and leave stuff out, I show it for what it is, and you can make your own opinion. But like any grading company, no grading company is ever going to be 100% when it comes to grading. It's all speculative, it's always people's opinions. People will always have, what, no matter if it's CGC, CBCS, PGX, or other, any other of the companies, there's always somebody out there that says, wow, this wasn't graded right. But it is due to humans, and they can be, you know, make mistakes. But we'll see what happens. I don't know which ones these are. I have two sets of them out there. And I have another set that I'm going to be sending at the end of this month. So stick around for that. I'm not doing that today. But let's show the first book. And I always cover the grade. All right. So this is one of my many Ultimate Fallout 4s. This, of course, is the first print. Let's try and get that glare. Now, these were bagged. Now, no matter who you get this to go grade them. I highly recommend you get these books pressed because if they're in the bag, the back of the book will always have this slight indent because there's a little fold that you can open the bag with on the back of the comic and it always leaves an indent. So this is a book that definitely needs to get pressed. So it will dramatically increase the grade and will help you to get a higher grade, which of course, the higher the grade, the more it's worth. So this... I paid, because I bought these years ago, and I was telling people to buy these. I had so many of them, I started giving them away. Um, this is Ultimate Fallout 4. I paid between $10 and $12 for the, the batches, so I'm not sure which one it is. So I'll just say I spent $12 on this book. I said it's going to be about a 9.4 to 9.8. Of course, it's always going to depend on the pressing. And let's see the first grade. All right, so there we go, a 9.4. Now, there is Grader's Notes on the back. So it says, several stress lines along spine, minor cover wear. So there you go. A lot of these can get damaged. Very hard to get 9.8s with the Ultimate Fallout 4 first print because of those bags. So there can be damage. And they, were, they opened this bag. So it was in the original bag. But hey, you know what? 9.4 for 12 bucks. Am I thrilled? Well, of course not. But I'm going to be very, you know, I'm happy regardless. Because I definitely, it's worth more, even at a 9.4, what I paid for it. 
So, not everything's going to automatically be a 9.8. Next up, this is a book I've had for another book I had for years. I have several copies, so I just picked one of them. This, of course, is the all new Marvel Point One or all new now. Let's see what it says. All new Marvel Now Point One. So this is the first. I'm trying to do it without looking at the grade. The first appearance of the new Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. That's definitely popular. Of course, you know the other one is the first appearance of Miles Morales, which they're saying might end up being possibly in Spider-Man 3. If that happens, those books are going to get even more expensive. But I was telling people since 2016 to buy these books. So like I said, I have several copies of this book. Um, I don't remember what I paid. I think I paid cover price or maybe a few dollars over that because I bought these years ago. I didn't buy them you know, directly off the shelves, but I think I bought them like a week after they came out or something like that. So I probably spent less than $10 for all of these books. So again, I don't really care about the grade, but of course I would love to have the highest grade possible. Um, I said this book will be again about a 9.4 to 9.8. Let's see what we got. And again, 9.4. So there you go. Um, there are some greatest notes. So it says several stress lines along the spine, uh, minor spine crease on back cover. Um, where is it? Okay, barely on the bottom. It, it, you can't even see this. There's a little crease right there, but definitely warranted a 9.4. Again, it's not a 9.8, so I'm a little disappointed on that, but considering what I paid for it, it is what it is. So you can see, you know, based on this, they're not just giving me high grades just to give them to me. 9.4s seem very fair for those books. I'm not worried because of the fact of what I paid for them. All right, so we got two more. So let's just randomly pick one. All right, so this is one of my amazing Spider-Man number 15s, which they have rumors at this point. It's still rumors because anything can change. But this is the first appearance of Craven the Hunter. I have two copies of this. This is a lower grade book, but like I've always said, low grade is better than no grade. I paid a decent price for this. I paid only $169.12. I bought these back around 2017, 2018, so before any of the rumors ever came out. Because in my opinion, anywhere from Amazing Spider-Man number 1 to Amazing Spider-Man number 20, other than two exceptions, you really can't go wrong. There's a lot of major first appearances. Now, Craven of the Hunter isn't up there, but he's up there. He's definitely not in the league of, like, Goblin and Venom and Doc Ock, for example. But he's definitely known, and he'll be a lot more known if he ends up in the Spider-Man uh, movie. But we'll see what happens. Um, I predicted about a 3.0 to a 4.0 with off-white pages. I didn't mention the pages in the other two, because with new ones, they're going to always be white pages. And that's what they were. But I paid, again, one sixty nine twelve, and that always includes shipping and handling. I said about a 3.0 to a 4.0. Let's see the grade. And there you go, 4.0. So very happy with that. Uh, grade as notes say, uh, multiple stress lines along the spine. That's to be expected with an older book. Means it's been read, because back then people bought them to read them. Um, moderate cover slash edge slash spine wear, and a minor spine roll. So that absolutely will qualify for a 4.0. Off-white pages, what did I say? I said off-white pages, so I was actually right for once. But as you can see, this cover looks beautiful. And I'll show the back. There's no tears, no major rips, or anything. Just, you know, a loved book that somebody probably read several times as a kid. So I'm very happy with a 4.0 with this book, especially if he ends up in the movies. And I have a second copy, so it'll probably be about a 3.0 to a 4.0 range. And there we go. All right, so last but not least, this one was the book I had to send in to get regraded. Now, I made the mistake of not looking in this book. And what happened was, it didn't come back restored, which a lot of people complained about until I cracked it open to find out that it wasn't a replacement of a page that they put a, a copy of. They just, for some reason, added a copy of the first page and I didn't open the book to look at it. So that was my fault. So you can actually see 
that the Hulk was cut out, but in that original one, you could see the Hulk there because they took an image of the cover and the first page and just stuck it in there. So they were actually right. It was not labeled as restored because there was nothing restored. They just added a, a copy of a page. So that was my fault. So I got this regraded. Now, of course, this is a lower grade book. I paid a total of, where is it, um, $679. And I added that because I have to spend the shipping to send this because uh, they don't pay for my shipping to send it. Um, I said it's about a 1.8 to 2.5 off-white pages. Even if it ends up at 1.0, I'm still doing good. But let's see. Final grade for the Avengers number one. A 1.5. All right, so there you go. It's actually lower than what I predicted. So it does have somebody traced on the Avengers with blue pen. It does have some tears. They drew, a, they drew a beard on Thor. There is the cutout. So this is a lower grade book, but definitely will qualify under a 1.5. And they said off-white. What did I say? I said off-white to white. It's off-white. So of course, you know, there's no first appearances in here, but it's the first appearance of the Avengers. So let's read the detailed graders notes. So we got multiple stress lines along the spine. Significant cover, edge, and spine wear, which is to be expected for such a low grade. 2.75 inch by 2.75 inch piece cut out from the cover. That's this circle right here where the, whatever kid owned this, like the Hulk, and he cut out the image, probably put on his notebooks for school. Um, the piece cut out from the front cover. Multiple spine tears, which we've seen. Uh, eight inch tear on the back cover, multiple edge tears, and a weak spine. Now, I did make sure when I sent this in, I let them know that the spine was weak. And I drew, or I wrote on the back in tape to let them know to be careful taking this out. So it always pays to be able to be informative because they're not going to know. And if they just pull out the book because they don't care about it as much as you do. And even if they damage it, they could just say it got damaged in the mail. I mean, that's one of the things I've heard from some of the other companies where books get damaged and they basically just say, well, it was in the mail or, you know, it just happened and they don't take any responsibility. Well, if you know, for example, a staple's close to popping and you don't write that on the back to let them know, how are they going to know? So the more information you give, the better. So I am very happy with a 1.5 for this book, especially since I paid under $700 for this book. And a 0 0.5, now, of course, they, they have it based on CGC, 0 0.5 of this book is about almost a thousand dollars it'll be even higher when they do the next avengers movie if we ever see a movie again in our lifetime so i'm very happy with what i paid for this book i am very happy with that 1.5 it's lower than what i thought it was but it goes to show that they're not just trying to give me great grades that are not you know that are not what they're supposed to be now again every now and then you're going to get a book where you might question it and that will be every company. So either you attack all companies for making those mistakes or you attack none of them. But if you only select one or two and you let the others have a free pass, you're not really helping companies become better. So I'm very happy with these books overall. No 9.8s on the new books, but none of them are restored, which I'm happy about. And um, they graded this one the first time absolutely right. And that's, that's why I say so many people want to hate on PGX. You should see some of the comments that were left that I had to delete. Where people like, oh, there's a page added. That has to be restored. And they missed that. And it shows that they're blah, blah, blah. Well, it ended up they were right because it wasn't a replacement of an original page. Every original page in this book is here. It's just they added a copy of it for some reason. And I was too basically too stupid to check the book. That's my own fault. But that does not make it a qualified book. If somebody decided to put a copy of a page that doesn't replace the page, in other words, if the page is still there and they just happen to put a color or black and white color, um, black and white color, that makes sense, a black and white copy of that, of that page, that's not restored because you're not restoring anything. So they actually did it right. And that's why I like to do this live. So that was my mistake. And... Um, Got a 1.5, very happy with that. 4.0 for Amazing Spider-Man 15, and 9.4s for the all-new Marvel Now Point One and Ultimate Fallout 4. Very happy overall, considering the prices I paid for them. 
And uh, though, that's the four comics. So you got to see it live, so you can make your own opinions. You let me know what you thought about these grades. I think they are absolutely fair and pretty much spot on. And they're not trying to give me, you know, 5.0 for an Avengers number one that did not deserve it. And not for nothing, if it was a 5.0, I would have taken it out of the slab. Because I am not going to be one of those people that says, well, I'll take it when it's not justified. So, thanks for listening, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have another video I did earlier today of a book that is already now on sale. Hopefully, you will check that out and uh, see if it's something that you want to add to your comic book collection. I want to thank the 18 people that were kind enough to hit the like button. I always appreciate you guys doing that. Please sign up for the cashback program. It definitely helps me, and it helps you at the same time. And I want to do today's surprise subscriber shout-out. So, that is going to go to... Pamela Lewis, you are today's surprise subscriber shout out. So if you have a uh, YouTube channel, you could post the link to your channel in the comments section. I will have to approve it first just to make sure it's not anything that's inappropriate. And uh, if anybody sees that, please go subscribe. And they wrote, what did it cost you to send them? Well, I used to send things postal service, but I've been sending them recently with UPS so it cost me roughly about $24 to $25 to ship it. So it's roughly roughly between $5 and $6 per book that it costs me. But I don't pay for the grading. I don't pay for the pressings. I don't pay for any signature verifications. And they actually pay to have it returned. So they pay the shipping to return it. So it's a great deal. But, you know, like I said, I have discount codes for you guys. So if you send 10 or more in and use the code we love comics free press. You can get one of them pressed for free. And also, if you want the greatest notes added to the back of your book, it's $5 charge per book. And it's We Love Comics free um, greatest notes. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thank you again for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I got another four books they just received. It's going to take a little while. Just remember, with any grading company now, with the situations in the world going on, there are going to be delays that are you know longer than normal. So this took about a month and a half to get back. But, you know, they came back safe, and I'm very happy overall, so I am not about to complain. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget, it is not you, it is not I, it is we love comics. You all enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.